Female Field Guide exclusive, I'm really excited to talk to one of my new friends, Mr. Larry Triplett, defensive tackle for the Colts as well as the Bills and seven-year NFL vet. And Larry, thank you so much for coming on the show. I really appreciate it. Oh, uh, yeah, no, absolutely. I'm excited to be on. Yes, well, there's so much to talk about. I want to dig right in. Let's talk Colts football. Um, you know, we had a chance to talk a little bit about that a couple weeks ago. Um, and please share with the listeners just your experience with being coached by Tony Dungy and, uh, you know, with, with uh, Peyton Manning as the quarterback. How was your overall experience playing uh, in Indy? Well, you know, I was truly blessed, uh, Jasmine, to mm-hmm. be drafted. I came here in 2002, the same year uh, that Tommy Dungy came here to an organization. Mm. Uh, and, you know, every year that I was here, here in Indianapolis, you know, went to the playoffs and yeah. really uh, developed a culture of winning. So mm. I got my first few years in the league, man, I went to the playoffs. That was an expectation. Yeah. Okay. Um, but, uh, you know, of course, having a quarterback like Peyton as mm. well, uh, just an ultimate professional. It's really kind of unfortunate that he's you know, dealing with his injury now oh, and, yeah. and uh, you know, struggling with all the changes that's going on with the team mm-hmm. now. But, you know, the years that I was here, man, it was a, a very solid organization. Yeah. Uh, everybody knew what to expect. Absolutely, absolutely, and you're you're right. You're spot on. The Colts missed the the playoffs for the first time in nine years, and so you're 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 still out there in Indy. And I, I want to ask you, Larry, how is the vibe, the atmosphere? Um, you know, the the Colts unfortunately had a really tough season, especially with Peyton out with his neck injuries. Um, and you know, especially the the recent developments with you, really the Colts and Jim Irsay, you know. <sighs> cleaning house, uh, getting rid of, uh, you know, a, a GM and, and firing Coach Caldwell and, and now bringing in the Ravens defensive coordinator. How is the vibe um, with regards to just all the new faces and possibly, you know, Peyton Manning being very candid uh, in the Indy Star saying he really wasn't pleased with what's going on and there might be a possibility that he may not be there. Um, with whoever you, you've been speaking with, how's the vibe out there in Indy with all the new things that, that that's happening out there? Well, I mean, the vibe is, is uh, I think people got a little bit excited when, with the, the new coach, mm. uh, the new head coach being, being um, excited. But before then, I'm telling you, people were just uh, on edge. I mean, yeah. everybody didn't know what to really expect. Yeah. Uh, you know, people still don't really know what to make of Peyton and, and his injury. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, honestly, I, I just... Uh, you know, from playing, you know, playing the sport and just knowing just how physical it is. Yeah. Uh, I, I know for a lot of the fans, they feel as if we're, we're, we're uh, you know, superheroes out there playing football, but mm. they're all human. Yeah. He's human. Absolutely. Uh, you know, he can do some superhuman things at yeah. times, but he's definitely <laughs> human. And, uh, I mean, it's really unfortunate that during this healing process that all of this is going um I've heard a little bit about just, you know, almost him being blamed almost or, or wow. uh, you know, but, but I mean, that's the nature of the business. I mean, the, the MRSA ha- has a, a business that he has to keep and mm-hmm. he has to make decisions for his business. And people just gonna have to understand that and deal with it. Absolutely. And especially if, if Peyton were to come out, come back and, and re-injure his neck injury, that would take him out of the game, but then also really affect his quality of life. And so I definitely think that, you know, he made the right decision. He knows his body. So by not playing and not coming back early, you've got to protect yourself. Um, he's, a, he's a family man and, uh, you know, he's 35 years old. And so my, my question to you, Larry, do you think that Peyton Manning will be returning to Indy for his 15th season, or is there a possibility uh, that Jim Irsay may ship him to another organization? Well, I, you know, I honestly, I just don't think that he, he's coming back. Even if he could play, mm. I just don't see how they can bring him back. I mean, they, they basically built this team around him. Yeah. You know, ever since I've been here, ever since he got drafted, they built the team uh, specifically for him. And now all that team is gone. Mm. You know, if they if they bring Peyton back, which you know everybody's predicting that they're gonna drive Andrew Luck yeah. you know, with the first pick. Um, you're talking about just uh, way too much money mm-hmm. uh, to to at one position on a football field. So honestly, I and then you know the big if is if he's healthy enough to play. Me yes. personally. 
you know, your neck is, it's not like your knee. You know, your yeah. knee, you can still make it without a knee. But man, if you don't have a neck, I mean, you, you're in big trouble. So yeah. to me, uh, <laughs> you know, me personally, I don't think he should come back even risk it unless, mm. you know, is definitely, definitely sure that his neck is strong enough to get hit, man, because guys are Ooh. bigger and stronger now. Yeah. Larry, you're giving me the good stuff. I'm loving it. You're, you're keeping it candid. You could have said, oh, I think he's coming back, but I'm loving it and I'm appreciating it. And, and you spoke a little bit about, you know, a, a knee injury, a ankle injury. And, um, you know, I want to talk about life after sport, the transition. Remember, we were talking a couple weeks ago and we were asking, Larry, what type of injuries have you had? And, and you were uh, blessed to the extent where it was just really a, a knee injury. Right. And it was that the reason why um, you decided to uh, walk away from the game? Was it a knee injury? Yeah, you know, when I first started playing football, uh, you know, one of the big things for me, I, I used to watch the films of some of the old school guys that, mm. you know, when they left the game, man, they're in wheelchairs and yeah, lifting yeah. and yeah. it's all jacked up. And, and mm. one of the, the problems that I said to me, man, I said, man, I am not going to hold on to this game mm. that long. Mm. So I love playing it, but, you know, hey, I, I, I didn't have kids at the time, but I said, if I have kids, I want to be able to play with my kids when I'm done playing. Absolutely, you know? absolutely. And you, yeah. you, you're still a young man, and um, geez, we appreciate just your your honesty with that because, especially with regards, you know, the the lockout that took place, and then the former ball players that were speaking up about all the injuries um, and their quality of life was is just so so bad now because they possibly played, you know, through one too many uh, knee surgeries, back surgeries, concussions, and um, you know, now that life after football is has really been really harsh to them but you my friend talk about the the transition to you know from playing ball to now becoming an entrepreneur was it a, a difficult transition from being a part of an organization to now uh, essentially you're you're a civilian now <laughs> talk about that yeah. transition well i mean you know for me my football was never really my identity so mm. i love playing it yeah. enjoy playing it but i always kind of saw uh you know me doing things later in life mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so I was really blessed that you know my father has always he's, he's an entrepreneur he's in business and he always kind of taught me things about business ever since I was a young age so mm -hmm. you know now there in Glendale Arizona I have a comfort suite mm -hmm. uh, right next to the University of Phoenix Stadium okay. uh, and, and just uh, doing that and, and you know I, I love the hospitality industry and learning it as fast as I can mm -hmm. and uh, and we're doing, you know, some good things there in Glendale. So it wasn't too bad for me to transition out of football. That's good. Very blessed. And, um, you know, I, I really like Phoenix and in Arizona. I haven't had a chance to, to go too many times, but we were there a couple weeks back. And that's the one thing of the hotel biz doesn't really matter with the economy. People will always find a way to travel and they need to lay their head. Now, I have a couple more questions for you, Larry, and I appreciate you, you staying on with me. Um, you're out there in Indy. Now, we wanted to know the, the vibe of the anxiety of the unexpectancy with regards to Peyton Manning. But the Colts, Lucas Oil Stadium, they're hosting Super Bowl, you know, 46. Hey. How is it going down there? What's the buzz like? And my friend, who do you have in the Super Bowl winning? <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's exciting, man. This town, I'm so impressed. Yeah. Uh, just how Indianapolis is handling the Super Bowl, man. It, they are really, you know, uh, I've gone to other Super Bowls mm. in warmer climates, but mm. Indianapolis, man, they are really putting on a great show out here. They, they have this thing set up, organized, and really going to showcase to the, to the world that the Super Bowl can be in, in other climates. Uh, but, yeah, as far as just the pick for the team, you know, my heart wants to pull for the Giants. Yes. <laughs> I know the reality, man. There is no way, yes. no way that Brady and Bilicek is going to lose this game. You're There's right. no way, man. You're right. If you notice, they're not even talking that much. You're not even hearing a lot from the Patriots at all. Mm. All they're thinking about is trying to play that game, That's man. Right. And I think it's really not even going to be close, unfortunately. Oh, I want it to be oh. like 07, Larry. I want it to I be know, a David Tyree too. type of situation. Yeah. yeah and I hate the Patriots, so I, yeah. I, I, it's hard for me to say that. Yeah. I got to understand the reality. Well, I love it. I love it. This has been fantastic.